What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Aliko Crazy. Back with another video for you guys, man. Oh, it feels great saying my intro once again for y'all. But um, today, boys, I'll be bringing y'all my official NBA 2K23 center build. I think this center build is a great build. I'm not going to lie. Like, this shit is fire. I've been playing recently. I'm 8-0 right now. Undefeated record. We going for that 100 and 0 this year. We is, but make sure y'all hit that like, sub up, and share out the vid. Let's get into it though, right? So the position, I'm picking power forward. Y'all know it doesn't matter about the hand, doesn't matter about the jersey number, none of that. Now height. Now everybody's been choosing six nine. Everybody, but I'm gonna go with six ten. You feel me? Switch it up. Switch it up a little bit. Nah, you feel me? My weight, my weight finna be 232. My wingspan, I'm maxing it out because honestly, I think that with this weight, with this weight right here, a max wingspan would go perfect. You feel me? And I'm 6'10, so my wingspan goes up to 7'8. But y'all see, we did the body type as build. Um, now let's get straight into this. So I would say for my close shot because I thought I was like really analyzing everything I was really breaking everything down you feel me I wasn't focused too much on badges but I you know like I had my third eye open for badges so my close shot I'm bringing it up I'm trying to like see where is the best at you feel me I see that I get three badge points with this one so I'm like, all right, I'm keeping it here. I'm keeping it right here at 69 because it works. It works. Then my driving layup, I'm looking in between 77 and 78 because I keep seeing that that one badge turns Hall of Fame after I put it up. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well go with 78. Never know if I'm going to need that badge, but it doesn't hurt. You feel me? Doesn't hurt. Like, I looked further into the badge after, and I feel like I wouldn't really need Pro Touch like that. Like, it's it's not a bad badge, so I could potentially put it on one day, but it's still in the works, you feel me? Like, it's still there. It's still there. Like, just in case, just in case, because I feel like I'm going to use it. But moving on to my driving dunk. Now, y'all will see that my driving dunk and my standing dunk are right there because I went. My standing dunk is based off of my driving dunk. So for my driving dunk, I did 93. And for my standing dunk, I did 94. Um, I feel like, I feel like you know, that was pretty smart by me. I feel like I did a great move there by putting it just one above. I got 20 potential badge points. Now for my shooting, y'all see, I'm just putting it up a couple because, you know, I needed to get rid of some points in shooting, even though this build can't shoot, because I was not making a popper. So we moved down to my pass accuracy. I'm moving on my pass accuracy to a 70 because, to be honest, I need that ball to go straight to my guard, bro. Like, I need that ball in my guard's hand 99% of the time, you know? My ball handle is at a 43, so it's just not bad, you feel me? My speed with ball, I just put it up too. I put up my ball handle, though, because I didn't want nobody ripping me. And it went up with the other attributes, so I was might as well just keep it like that, you know? Might as well. But now we're moving on to my defensive slash rebounding, and I'm going to start off hot with my interior defense at a 93. I feel like... I play great defense, and then plus 93 interior defense with a wingspan that high. Oh, my God. So then my perimeter defense, I put it up all the way because, you know, my hedge game, I think I could play pretty good hedge. So I put it up all the way just so, you know, it could give me that little boost and possibly, possibly get a bump steal at times. So then, look, this is how my steel went up, too. I put my steel up very high because if my perimeter defense is high, just imagine my steel. If I'm boxing you at the top, my steel got to be high. So just in case I get that little one little poke, you feel me? That little boom is mine. Um, Then we move down to block. My blocks. 
I went crazy with that one, boy. I put it all the way up to 95 because you coming in my paint as a 6'9 center. I'm 6'10. Plus, I have a higher wingspan than you. Bro, you is not doing shit to me. Let me tell you that, bro. But moving on to my offensive rebound. I got 93 offensive rebound and then 99 defensive. And I feel like every year it's worked for me. I've always put my defensive rebound higher than my offensive rebound. I don't know why because... I feel like offensive rebound, I should have higher at times. But I like to go with what my gut says. And my gut was just telling me, yo, put up your defensive rebound because it's it's great just to know that you have every board secure, you know. And um, offensively, I get a lot of boards either way. Then I put my speed up to 77 because... You feel me? There's six nines. I, I'm really going back on this six nine things because I don't like six nines this year. But there's a lot of six nines that are like 80, 81. And if I'm able to be a 77 speed with 610, what? Acceleration, 72. My strength, 86. My vertical, 90. And my stamina ending it all off at 94. I fuck with this build. Yo, y'all right now, if y'all still watching the vid, and go in the comment section and let me know if you guys fuck with this build. Type W build or L build. But primary takeover, I got to go with glass cleaning. Secondary takeover, I got to go with room protector. And I've made a paint piece. W build, in my opinion. But make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe. Comment down below what build y'all want to see next. I got a lockdown and a guard build coming up just in case. But y'all already know, man. It's been your boy, Illegal Crazy. And I'm out, coach.